We begin tonight with breaking news. Gainesville police are confirming a single shot has been fired at the intersection of Southwest 34th Street and Archer Road. The shot was fired just before 5.30 this afternoon. A white male in a silver Jeep reportedly fired one shot and then fled, but no one was hit. Anyone with information is asked to call the telephone number 352, there's a number there, 955-1818. Also new from us tonight, our reporters have been providing continuous coverage of white nationalist Richard Spencer's appearance on the University of Florida campus this afternoon. As the parents brought criticism for the University of Florida and hundreds of protesters outside the Phillips Center where he was holding the event. TV Twin is Carla Byron joins us now live with more. Carla. Hi, Dave Page. I mean, protesters were absolutely heated. They were fired up and completely drowned Spencer out during his speaking event and also drowned out the pre-event speakers as well. Not every seat was filled in the auditorium, but I will say the majority of people uh, seem to be protesters and they completely took over the spotlight. About two dozen of his supporters were in white button-down shirts and they were sitting near the front row. Some were disappointed. Some were disappointed protesters didn't let him talk. It makes sense to me all the hatred that people are spewing and how many people actually support him. I just I just wanted to see what maybe the makeup of my school looks like. Is that I think it, uh, his ideas are crazy and dangerous, but as dangerous as his ideas are, I think the idea that not allowing him to be able to speak is an even more dangerous proposition. Spencer kept trying to ask the crowd to hear him out, but it just was not happening. He even called protesters immature preschoolers at one point. But at the end of all this, uh, Spencer did thank the university for giving him the opportunity. Reporting live in Gainesville, Carla Byron, TV20 News. Among the protests at UF's campus and Spencer's speech were a handful of people in the crowd being taken away by police. And at this hour, Alachua County Sheriff's deputies have confirmed they've made two arrests. The first, you can see right here, this is 28-year-old Sean Bramoshan. Deputies say that he was arrested for carrying a loaded gun. The gun apparently was concealed under his shirt. They say he was also carrying a badge and handcuffs. They do confirm that he was hired as a security guard for a media organization, but still not known yet what organization that is. Well, the second person arrested is 34-year-old David Note. Note was arrested for resisting an officer without violence. Well, protests, as you could see, surrounded the event throughout the day. Hundreds showed up for and against Spencer. TV Choice Haley Wade joins us now from the University of Florida campus. Haley, what's going on now? So right now it's actually not too bad. Everything's pretty much cleared out from earlier. Um, there's a few police hanging around, a few law enforcement officers, and um, not really any protesters left and not people who were attending the event left either. Haley, has Richard Spencer actually made an appearance outside for the crowd? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Has Richard Spencer actually appeared outside the venue? Richard Spencer is not here. He actually left um, right after the event ended. He went through the back door so that the protesters weren't able to get to him. Um, some of these protests or some of these people who attended the event came out the side and protesters um, actually chased them until they got back into the Phillips Center. And they had to be escorted by law enforcement officers. Now, the biggest concern after Charlottesville was violence. Has there been any serious violence? there at the Phillips Center? Were there any fights? Uh, I, be, I believe there were a couple. Um, somebody got punched in the, the jaw because he, um, he was one of the people attending the event. He came out and then protesters went up to him. They were talking to him, asking him questions, and he just got sucker punched. And he was taken away by law enforcement. I think he, he is okay. Um, there were a couple of other fights around here, pretty superficial stuff, um, just a lot of people in the crowd yelling at each other or yelling at uh, people who attended the event. So, uh, but nothing too crazy. All right, thank you so much at TV20. Haley Wade reporting outside of the Phillips Center. Meanwhile, a message of unity from University of Florida President Kent Fox falling on deaf ears. TV20's Curtis Jenning joins us live tonight in the studio with your action from protesters and their thoughts on how the president handled the event.
Well, Dave and Paige, protesters that I spoke with said they came to the event with one goal in mind, and that was to stand up for what they believe is right. Strong against Spencer, Gators together, strong against Spencer. Protesters showing up in droves to the University of Florida campus to show their feelings towards white nationalist Richard Spencer and his followers. Stand up by back. When Jewish lives are under attack, what do we do? Stand up by back. When hate speech is presented, especially on a campus, it's important that we come together like en masse, loudly and forcibly confront that hate speech to show a message that our society doesn't stand for what they're trying to push onto us. Others say they blame campus president Ken Fox for allowing the event to be held on campus. Really saying that he stands with Richard Spencer, the president of UF stands with the people who really want to harm a lot of the student body and it's it's just discouraging. But President Fox was on campus spreading a message of love and peace. And I've just encouraged them to overcome this individual's message of hate and and uh, white nationalism with a message of inclusion and a message of love. Outside the venue, a white nationalist was yelled at, spit on, and ultimately driven out of the area by protesters. If we're silent, that could happen again, and we absolutely just can't have that happen again. And many protesters told me that they will never let their voices be silenced when it comes to questions of equality amongst all races. Reporting live in the studio, Curtis Jennings, TV 20 News. Coming up next, we'll check back in with our reporters. We'll have the latest on our coverage of Richard Spencer visiting the University of Florida. Coming up next on the TV 20 News at 6.